Building 5, Brook Acros, General Fire Alarm. Street. It looks like it just came in as a fire alarm, but then there was smoke, but they can't see any fire. Well, let's go. Got a pass caught over, and that should be right up here. I smell smoke now. Yeah, I smell smoke now, too. You see lights in there. Rescue 13 on scene. They got a RIT team and everything else set up. All right. Nice tonight. There's a lot of smoke in that apartment. 31 command. Oh. We have a water alarm sounding in building five. Building five. There we go. And it looked like the sprinkler had put out whatever fire was there, but that the fire was going and smoldering for quite some time before we got there. Maintenance guy was not there, and no residents claiming it, so we had to break down the door. Command, we've made entry. We never think of anybody from the in. I haven't heard anything. The owners maybe were sleeping when this came out, and the smoke overtook them. So we could be potentially finding a dead body in here. There's another firefighter to the left of me, and he opens one of the doors. I feel something bounce off him, and he goes, huh? I got a dog. I got to go to the third floor window. Five. Rescue 13 to command. Rescue 13 coming down with a dog. It's OK. I'm not trying to hurt you. It's OK. <laughs> Chihuahuas are not very nice. They're very nervous, very angry dogs. This one was so happy to just get out of that house. It's OK. He wasn't sneezing, coughing, nothing. But he was terrified. If he starts coughing or something, and we're still on scene, let us know. We'll put some oxygen on him. Other than that, just go ahead and get him dry and get him in the house. Turns out there was something smoldering in the oven, and it set off the alarm. Thankfully, nobody was in there. Uh, already getting texts about the dang dog. <laughs> Want to know if I brought a fake dog in as a prop, <laughs> just so I can get out of the fire easier. Oh man! Yeah. I got one! I got one! Hey, New Orleans, 911 emergency. I can help you. Yes, uh, I'm on the up ramp coming off of Claiborne, going to the West Bank. There's a car turn on its side up here. Good thing you didn't go over that side but his hand is bleeding. He said his hand got caught outside the window. OK, I'm sending paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line. Help is on the way. I need a three-year-old. I have a cold three and an eight. But I saw Cleveland on ramp at night, 10, all time vehicle. 6249, I'll respond as well. One vehicle involved. I'm not if anyone is trapped inside. Hold up on it. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Are you serious? You're going to get this out killed going that way. I'm in, I have an emergency myself. I can't fit right there. That's, that's not going that way. Wow. People are really crazy. She doesn't want to wait for this traffic incident to be cleared, which is absolutely so dangerous, so dangerous. If you keep driving into oncoming traffic, you are going to be our next patient. You're really going to have an emergency. 6249 on scene. Oh, Lord. Did he voluntarily climb out? Yeah. Oh, Be careful. All right, can we look at you real quick? Man, you hurting anywhere? Uh, my hand. Let's see your face, baby. It looks like, let me see your face. My, my, none, none of them are, it looks like you have blood on your face. You sure? Can I move your hair? Let me move your hair and see. What happened? Man, I, my brakes on my car not wasn't working correctly, and I fishtailed. Uh-huh. I stuck my hand out the window, thinking I could stop the car from falling. Let me see your hand. No, my hand. Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, Listen, let us check you out, OK, my man? Nobody's trapped, huh? Hey, there's a dog. 
All right, buddy, let's take a look at your hand. Probably broken in a couple different places. What hospital do you want to go to? None, none. I just want my mom to come. Everything straight is up my hand, man. While I'm helping take care of this patient and trying to convince him to go to the hospital, some of our team realizes that his dog is still in the car. Who's gonna leave a dog in the car? Nobody with New Orleans EMSs I can say that. You have a lot of places that were shredded. You have a big gouge in your thumb. So I think you definitely need to go to the hospital to have it checked out. And we can't even clean it up for you because it looks like you might have glass and stuff in here. You didn't hit your head on anything? Oh. You had your seatbelt on? Yeah. You didn't lose consciousness. What city are you in? I'm in New Orleans. All right. And you're absolutely 100% positive. I'm 100% sure I want my mama to come get me and okay. me home. All right, bro, all this you got OK. Hearing I don't have somebody else deal with it doesn't make me feel any better, no. I would feel fantastic if he would have just said, OK, I'll let you take me. Dog's OK? Yeah. Dog's not injured? No, I know skittish dry blood on her, but it looks like it's all just as nice. Both the patient and the pup are extremely lucky that with this amount of damage, we don't see anything that is visibly life-threatening right now. Christ. He says his brakes went out, he fishtailed, and, but he is I refusing to go to the top. hospital. Well, he climbed out. He, climbed okay, okay, so that's he climbed out on his own, it, yeah. She's pretty. You got your mom on the phone? Make sure you hold it on for her, though. Yeah, I, I got it. I'll help you. Yeah, I'll help him out. Hold on, baby girl. I will say, in those instances where we have people that are just like, no, I'm not going, and mama shows up, that makes me feel better. Because I know as a mom, if mom says you're going to the hospital, you ain't telling her no. 6249, you can show me clear. 427 on the scene. I smell it. So our number one concern, of course, is to make sure that there's no one inside the building. Let's go look. 27 is making entry through the front door on the alpha side. Give me a quick connect. Then our second task is to knock down the fire. Score 27 is on the scene of a wood frame dwelling. Be advised, it looks like we might have a fresh fire site. We smelled gasoline, so immediately we began to think that this is probably arson. Hey, Sid, you want to hit that uh, baker's rat and smoke? The house appears to be clear of any human occupants, but we do find a cat inside suffering from smoke inhalation. There's some oxygen over here. The we do carry masks that are meant for animals. The back is clear, but y'all, y'all want to double check? Is that a gas can? 27 to command, be advised the fire is out. We had a small trash fire in the second room, and it's been, it looks like a plastic gas can. Yeah, it, it's all open, Chief. Yeah, watch that last step. Yeah, last step of doozy. That's what was burning. That's a gas yeah. can right in the middle of the floor. Right. So we need an investigator. Now, we, we know that it's arson. We call out the investigator once we suspect that it is arson. And from that point, he initiates an investigation and can include other agencies, from PD to ATF. We good. We can roll out. Ain't nothing left to do. We can go. You want a dog to take home? Let's see what this looks like. Does that have a collar? Cars were going around it. The dog just didn't care. Even if it had not been hit by a car yet, it was about to. Is he growling? No. Hey, buddy. You all right? Where you live at? Huh? 
I don't want you to get hit. Come on. He's gonna steal your car. Where do you want to go? Oh boy. <laughs> I think he's ready to go. Oh my goodness. Come here. You want some water? Oh no. Is he growling? Oh no. I don't think he was a mean dog, but I think he was so happy to be inside the car that he might have bit me if I tried to grab him out of there. You gotta get out. You gotta get out. Oh, geez. No weapon. Now I'm getting worried because if a call goes out, I can't jump in the driver's seat and drive to a call with this dog underneath me. 391. 391, go. Does animal control, and they can respond. Yeah, I got him out to you. And then as I took a closer look, I could see something moving around on the dog. And then we realized it was infested with fleas. This is what you get for trying to help. Hi, hey, handsome. Right. Come on. Get out of my car. There you go. There you go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. He's not an aggressive dog. So there is hope he can be adopted at some point. Yes. Yes. Animal service will treat it, they'll take care of it, and then they'll put it up for adoption. Pretty cool dog, though. I really didn't think he'd get in the car, though. No. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <laughs> Grab the knob. Grab the knob. No, they're not dead. I can work with them.